June 7th, the greatest source of power. Whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. John 14, verse 13. Am I fulfilling this ministry of intercession deep within the hidden recesses of my life? There is no trap nor any danger at all of being deceived or of showing pride in true intercession. It is a hidden ministry that brings forth fruit through which the Father is glorified. Am I allowing my spiritual life to waste away, or am I focused, bringing everything to one central point, the atonement of my Lord? Is Jesus Christ more and more dominating every interest of my life? If the central point or the most powerful influence of my life is the atonement of the Lord, then every aspect of my life will bear fruit for Him. However, I must take the time to realize what this central point of power is. Am I willing to give one minute out of every hour to concentrate on it? If you abide in me, that is, if you continue to act and think and work from that central point, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. John 15, verse 7. Am I abiding? Am I taking the time to abide? What is the greatest source of power in my life? Is it my work, service, and sacrifice for others, or is it my striving to work for God? It should be none of these. What ought to exert the greatest power in my life is the atonement of the Lord. It is not on what we spend the greatest amount of time that molds us the most, but whatever exerts the most power over us. We must make a determination to limit and concentrate our desires and interests on the atonement by the cross of Christ. Whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. The disciple who abides in Jesus is the will of God, and what appears to be his free choices are actually God's foreordained decrees. Is this mysterious? Does it appear to contradict sound logic or seem totally absurd? Yes, but what a glorious truth it is to a saint of God.